What's going on everyone? Merlin here, and we have some interesting news today. Seems that there may be a possibility that Gina Carano may be returning for Season 4 of The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian Season 4 reportedly greenlit with Gina Carano returning. With the filming for Mandalorian Season 3 already underway, and the Lucasfilm executives adamant that the fired actress Gina Carano will not be recast, it seems likely that New Republic Marshal Cara Dune won't be making an appearance in the third season of showrunner Jon Favreau and executive producer Dave Filoni's hit Star Wars series. Carano was let go by Lucasfilm Limited and the Walt Disney Company following a series of controversial tweets throughout The Mandalorian Season 2. Her firing derailed one of three planned Mandalorian spin-offs, Rangers of the New Republic, which Carano was set to star in has been placed on a definite hold. Despite the fact that Carano's co-stars, including Mandalorian leading man Pedro Pascal, Katie Sackhoff, and Ming-Na Wen, supported her throughout the drama that followed her last year, it wasn't enough to save her job in the Star Wars franchise. Now, however, the online rumor mill is swirling with reports that Carano will be returning to the Star Wars galaxy in The Mandalorian Season 4. This tracks with both the fact that Jon Favreau himself has seemingly gone to bat for Carano, and in fact, the actor Juan Carlos Esposito, who plays Moff Gideon, has previously teased four seasons of The Mandalorian. Fans have taken the social media to share their thoughts about Carano's potential return. And it goes on. There's a bunch of tweets about it. On a recent live stream, former DC Comics artist Ethan Van Skyver had this to say about it. I had a conversation with Gina Carano. I, I got to talk to her on the phone a couple times. I think I texted her a couple of times. Um, we were talking about making an action figure at one point. So I'm talking to Gina Carano and I just said, hey, there, there are some rumors that like, maybe you're going back to Star Wars. And uh, yeah, what, do you, what do you think of that? And she just went, uh, I cannot comment about that at this time. <laughs> and I went, oh, that's not a denial, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's true either. Now, it seems unlikely that if she was definitely not returning, that she would say something like that. I suppose she could be under some kind of NDA that would prevent her from either confirming or denying it. But why would Disney even want that? But then, Ethan adds this. Yeah. Uh, she said, but you know what she said to me? She said, but if I were, what would you advise me to do? <laughs> if they if they if they invited me back and i said uh, gina if i were you and disney uh, disney invited me to come back and do star wars after what they did to you i would say uh thank you for the invitation appreciate it now shove it up your fucking ass uh and i would do that as publicly as possible and she went damn <laughs> uh, but i said don't do that you know don't listen to me again I have to say, that seems like a weird question to ask if there were no offers being made to her. Uh, then, former DC Comics artist Shane Davis had an interesting theory as for what Disney's intentions may be. See, that's, that's so what it worries me. They're paying her a shit ton of money to come back just to kill her. Like, that, no. well, you know, you kill her? But kill the character, yeah, like it could be one big payday and then they kill the character and they, you know, they tie it off. Aaron Lepresti, another former DC Comics artist, had an even more unlikely theory. You right. know, the way I kind of look at this is this is them sort of half-ass admitting that uh, they were wrong. Ethan also states that he doesn't really think this will actually happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is real. And the reason why I don't think it's real uh, is because Gina has not changed one iota. And, and I'm thankful that she hasn't. She's right. still out there. You know, she still believes that, like, government mandates for the vaccine are wrong. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that's not a tenable position for somebody who works at Disney to take. Not right. in 2021. Yeah. But then again, he then reiterates that she didn't deny it. When I asked Gina, she didn't go, hell no. She went, I cannot comment at this time. Uh, so, it's a little bit of hope. Shane also talks about why he thinks it would make financial sense for Disney to give Gina another chance. Yeah. yeah. 
if Disney did, all, it would make sense for them to do this, though, because uh, on the Google search algorithm, she was like she was hitting punching above like Luke and all these things like in Mandalorian season two when they canceled her like uh, like she would be such a hot topic if they did bring her in and it would probably get outrage clicks on the show and it would get supporter like that and and that the clicks on on these um streaming services is what they show to shareholders to uh say we're looking better this quarter than the other i mean that that's the whole thing with netflix is you don't know if people watch the entire episode or if they just clicked on it and clicked off i mean they know it but to shareholders it just looks right. like a view it, they would disney would reap the benefits of this just just they because they would get everybody everybody that supports her and everybody that's outraged would click to go see ultimately though ethan would like this to be true and hopes disney will change their mind yeah i uh, again i you know my my fondest wish is that disney would backpedal on this <clears throat> I really love Star Wars. I want to participate, and I, you know, boycotts. Boycotts are not easy, and they're not fun. There's, there's sometimes, you know, boycotts for products that you actually do consume and stuff that you really enjoy. Not easy. So, what are your thoughts on this rumor? Do you think it might be true? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, folks, no matter where you're going, there you are.